Honda would appreciate it if you could take the trail sport name a bit more seriously. In order for us to do that though, they need to do the same. They're working on it and things are moving in a good direction. This was noticeable on the recent Pilot Trail Sport, but Honda is now stepping it up with the 2024 Passport Trail Sport as well. The first go around for the Trail Sport was clearly just a dip of the toe in the dirt. Those first ones got a different look to the bumpers, some Trail Sport badging, and very mediocre all-season tires. Not very trail ready, and certainly not sporty. Now, however, after reworking the concept on the pilot to solid effect, we're back with a second chance on a proper trail sport version of the Passport, and it's a much better effort. The 2024 Honda Passport Trail Sport finally gets a proper set of tires. Honda fits General Grabber ATX all terrains and wraps them around trail sport specific 18 inch wheels. The track is wider front and rear. Spring rates and dampers have been retuned for off-road duty, and the anti-roll bars have been reworked to allow for greater articulation. The Passport Trail Sport also benefits from Honda's iVTM4 all-wheel drive system. It's a torque vectoring system that can send up to 70% of engine torque to the rear wheels. Then it can move that torque around by up to 100% between the rear wheels. The drive system has four modes for pavement, sand, snow, and mud. So you, you can use that to tell the all-wheel drive system how to best behave depending on your trail conditions. And you have 8.1 inches of ground clearance, so you know keep an eye out for the pointier rocks you might come across. But if you don't want to hit the more aggressive trails, you can use the 5,000 pound towing capacity to bring along other off-road toys. Another nice carryover from the pilot side of things is the addition of that great diffused sky blue paint which is now available on the Passport. Is this thing a Wrangler? No. Is it a Raptor? Of course not. But is it a sign that Honda is starting to take trail sport a bit more seriously? Absolutely. Though they'd never admit it, I'm sure Honda is paying attention to what Subaru is doing with its wilderness models. Those are selling well for their respective model lines and are also surprisingly capable machines. Beyond swapping in an actual transfer case and some real deal suspension, this is plenty for the average consumer, as long as they know it's built for mild off-road trail running. It can get you out into nature and to see where adventure lies, but it's not necessarily the machine for the adventure itself. Honda says the reworked Passport Trail Sport will land on dealer lots basically any day now. No word on pricing just yet, but it shouldn't be too much more than the asking price of the 2023 model, which is in the mid $40,000 range. <laughs> 